Chittagong hill tracks of Bangladesh is a hilly area populated by diversified groups of indigenous people. There are at least 11 different ethnic groups in this uniquely beautiful mountainous region. Each of these Adivasis share ethnic, linguistic, cultural, and religious distinction of their own. These indigenous people are Chakma, Tripura, Marma, Mo, Chiang, Pankwa, Kumi, Bom, Chak, Lusai, and Tonchonga. This documentary will introduce the Mro population. Mro means human. It is thought that they are the most ancient residents of the hill tracks indigenous population. They are conservative in nature and like to reside in far off hilly areas. The total Mro population is about 70,000 and the fifth largest indigenous group living in the hill tracks. They are physically stout, mentally shy and love to live in peace. Like other hill tribes, they build their houses on high platforms. Their houses are two slopes and made of mainly bamboo and timber. Usually, these house roofs are made of flags, but many uses corrugated iron sheets for the purpose now. The larger parts of the houses are used as drawing rooms, and the smaller parts are used as bedrooms. They cook in the corner of the larger room. And there is a small window here. Like the indigenous groups of people, they too have no furniture in the drawing or bedrooms. They used to keep their household things on shelves near the roof and hang their clothing with the wall of their houses. They collect and preserve water in the pots made of dried jungle goats. Mro called this pot Tuiya. They rear pigs, dogs and chickens as domestic animals. The Mro's are enemies and worship nature. But many of them are converted to Krama, Buddhism and Christianity. However, Mro's still adhere to their ancient social tradition and rituals. Mro's live on Jum cultivation and they worship for a good chum harvest. They arrange worship in the hill where they would sow their seeds and its preparation begins much earlier. All the bro men go to the hill with all the tools and ingredients of worshipping in the scheduled day morning. The offering altar besides the jum house is made up of small trees found in the hills bamboos and with different bamboo made tools. Ample amount of boiled rice to baked chicken, pots full of wine and eggs are offered here so that they get bounty harvest in future to fulfill their need. Moreover, they also offer a live chicken to the god too.
The worship carries on burying sanctified leaves with spell words smeared with wet soil around the altar. Then the blood of sacrificed chicken and a pig is offered on the altar. The worship ends circling round the hill with music. At last, they cook all the food there and go home eating them all. This worship goes on from dawn to dusk. Piercing ear lobs is a tradition for every mo, and this ritual is called ruiplam. Usually, it is done at three years old. Groups of mo men and women dance at the advent of this ritual held at dawn. A village charlatan takes preparation with wine, rice on banana leaf, pieces of turmeric, and sharp piercing stick made of bamboo in that particular day, and the earlobes of the children are pierced accordingly. According to their tradition, the earlobes of a cow and the dog are pierced at the same time to make them witness of the ritual. Then all the invitees are entertained with wine. In a moral society, bovine sacrifices are done for the peace of a village, to chase off the diseases and to fulfill the wishes of the family. The village turns to a place of festivity. <laughs> during a bovine sacrifice. And the preparation begins with the making of a kind of decorated flag with bamboo bark and other related things with it. Kings and relatives are invited in such occasions. On the eve of a bovine sacrifice, Pigs and dogs are slaughtered for eating. Moreover, several pots full of wine are placed before the priest from where it is drunk with specially made bamboo pipes. On the particular day, the sacrificial cow is fenced in the homeyard. Mro men and women dance round the cow with the beat of music. Mro women like to dress up well during this event. The priest does rituals of worship from a distance. Once the cow is killed with a spear during the dance, and then they cut off its tongue. Then the cow is taken to the house of the family which has offered it. Again, the worship begins placing rice, raw turmeric on the sacrificed cow there. The priest spells out his mantra for each of the family members into it performing a particular ritual pulling an ear of the cow. The Mros believe that God has sent to them their scripture on banana leaves with a bearer. When the bearer goes to bath in a river leaving them on the bank, a cow eats them up including a part of allocated clothes for women. Since then, they cut the tongues of sacrificed cows for the well-being of everybody and the woman wear a scanty piece of cloth. Then food and wine is served for all. Two to three mros sit together to eat at the same plate in such bovine sacrifice festivals. Mro society is patriarchal but women have more roles to play.
Besides household chores, they have to work hard to grow crops. These industrious Mro women do all the jhum cultivation from slash to burning the weeds to sow seeds. Even the pregnant women are not exempted from these works. Sources of water are scarce and collecting it is even harder. Women collect water from hill fountains and rivulets. Besides, they collect and slice firewood to let alone preparing food and rearing children. Irrespective of the religion the Mo's are converted to now, they still abide by and support the same traditional rituals, beliefs and ethnics from the ancient times. That is why they are so unique that makes them unique in the hill tracks. ระคุยสงทาทะกอลีวังเขตนามจังหลองฮารวยงอนปอลงดิงรวยตัวจีจังหลองจึงเชียนกันพระฮิเลวะกอมปรังอูกอยกอดมาหนองขัดช่างรำ